Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I finally am getting around to doing another what fits in my bag. So this is going to be for the Chanel wallet on chain, also known as the Chanel walk. Um, so I do have two variations. I have the newer variation uh, with the magnetic closure and the updated uh, zippers. And this is in the pebbled leather and gold hardware. And then I have the older variation in the smooth and silver hardware. And the older one has the button and then the little leather pull tabs. So that's pretty much what they updated. But we're gonna go over what could fit in these bags and then I do have a couple things over here just as examples to show you what really wouldn't work inside this bag. So honestly, this is a wallet on a chain. So the fact that you could fit all this extra stuff in there is great. Um, but I know a lot of people comp complain about this bag about that you can't really fit much in here, but it is its main purpose is to be a wallet. So. When you open it up, you have this zipper pocket up here, which no one really ever knows what to do with, but it actually does go to the bottom of the bag. So as you can see, my whole hand is in here. So you can put um, extra stuff in here. Really all that I would maybe put in here is my mask and all the way at the bottom to be in the back, probably a charger, um, the flat charger, but that's really about it. So in here, I set it up. Um, if you're a super simple person, um, in this bag, I took my car key out, the house key out of these two popular pieces and, um, you know, you could fit more when you downsize. So pretty much for this, I just did the bare minimum, like exactly what you would need to leave the house. So I just put a lighter in here. I put car keys. This is usually what people use to put their car keys. This is the Louis Vuitton uh, keyless. So there's that. And then the six key ring holder. This is another staple piece. So I decided I would use that. You could put your phone, your AirPods. I know a lot of people use this. Um, a regular chapstick just a classic chapstick and then all your card slots would be back here and then you have a zipper section here which you would put some cash and then there's a front pocket here as well which I found these thin mirrors which are perfect so I threw that there and then there is a back slip here um, but I didn't throw anything in there like I said I put a lot more in this one so we'll go through that but if you're someone just needs the bare minimum, you're good to go. Um, you could put your phone right in here. In this setup, I put the phone right in the front, which I like a lot better. We'll get to that right now. Um, but that's just if you wouldn't want to put your phone in this front pocket, um, if you think it would stretch it out or whatever. Um, let's just say you're doing this setup um, and you do want to put the phone in the front. So we'll move this mirror to this back pocket. You'll still have your cash here, but now in the front, you can put your phone, um, six key ring holder, car keys, AirPods, um, and let's just say chapstick. And you wanna do that setup. And I did try this with my phone and it's perfectly fine, like my actual phone in there. Um, but yeah, you could do it like that too. But if you didn't wanna put your phone in the front pocket, you could just move it back here. And then you can use this section for something else. So that's one way to do it. Now, I usually do like to use my keyless and my six key ring holder, but for this setup, I decided to switch it up a little bit. 
So I put my phone in the front, which I do really like because say you need to get into here, you can just get your phone right out and you don't have to mess with all this stuff back here. Um, and then you could just put it right back away and continue going. Um, I feel like I like this setup a lot more because of the magnet. I feel like it really holds a lot better than that button and you don't have to worry about it popping open. This thing is stuffed and it's good. It's not gonna pop open. Um, so I'd keep my phone right there for easy access. And then my most used card, I would stick right back here um because i wouldn't want to put cash here just in case it falls out that's why you have that zipper pocket so i would still put my cash here and then um in that back slip pocket i just have the same skinny mirror you guys can see it is a mirror love these and i put some blotting paper in there and then I'll go through the rest of the stuff. I have an eyelash spoolie. I have some medicine. This is headache medicine. So if you're someone who takes daily vitamins, anything like that, you could put in a little travel container like this. I have a mini lipstick. I have gum. My All right, favorite. so my favorite chapstick ever. And then hand sanitizer, asthma pump, and then I decided to put my house key and car key in this little pouch from the Karagami set. Um, and that's how I downsized from the key pouch and the key less. So this is about the most that you could fit into the Chanel walk. And this is the bare minimum of stuff that you would most likely need. Um, now I'm going to show you guys some things that probably just wouldn't work in the bag. So I'll show you on the newer one. Um, so let's just say any type of small wallet. Obviously a long wallet's not going to work. But even if you had a small one, this is the Victorine. Um, if you put that in here. Pretty much it's taking up the whole bag. I mean, you could get away with it, but this bag itself is already a wallet, so that doesn't really make sense to take up all the space like that. Um, the same thing with the card holder. I picked a pretty standard thin one, and even with all the cards in here, um, it still, again, takes up a lot of space that you could use for other stuff, um, but you could make it work if you really needed to. And then any type of pouch like this, um, I usually do like organizing like organizing pouches like this. Um, if you watched my last video, but let's just say you did want to put some essentials in here. Let's just say we put chapstick, hand sanitizer, gum, medicine. So let's just say you have it like this. This is your little pouch. And you put this in here to have everything organized. Now you have your cards. Say you have your cards, your cash, your mirror. Now where's your car keys gonna go? I mean, you could take your car keys out of here and just drop them in the side. So I mean, this could work if you did wanna put everything into like a little organizer and do it like that, you could do that. And have your phone in the front but I feel like the best setup for myself would be to have all of my card slots in there um, ID health insurance um, my most used cards stuff like that um, I would definitely bring one of these thin mirrors for sure and I would put that in the back with my blotting papers. So in this back slip, I would put my cash in this zipper pocket. And then I would definitely keep the combo of my key and house key in here for this bag. 
And then I use my inhaler. I like to bring my inhaler with me even though you never know. So I like to bring it with me. But this could change for you if you have like some type of hand cream. You could definitely switch that out for a hand cream. And then I would do my spoolie for my eyelashes, um, my gum. And then if you want, instead of hand sanitizer, you could do your AirPods in here too. Um, chapstick. Favorite chapstick. A little lipstick. Medicines. And then phone case right in the front your phone and this would be the best setup for me and then just a card in the back so your most used card I would slip right back here and you're good to go and even still, you have some space right here. If you wanted to add your mask or your charger in, you could throw that in here too. So it is pretty surprising the amount that this bag could fit. Again, I really do like the new update because I feel like it just keeps the bag closed so much better. And you can see it's not too stuffed. It's the perfect amount. You have everything you need in here. So there's that. And then again, with the bare minimum, let's just say you have all your card slots in there, your phone, your keys, car keys, house keys. I would still definitely bring one of these thin mirrors. And then let's just say a lighter, or let's just say a hand sanitizer and then a chopstick. This would be like the bare minimum and then in here you would put your cash again you could put your charger and mask back here your most used card in the back and you're good to go guys so what type of person are you? Do you bring everything with you, even with a small bag, or are you just the essentials? Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Hopefully it was helpful for someone, and I will definitely see you guys in the next video. I will definitely be making more what fits in my bag for different bags, so definitely stay tuned.